So amazed, they won't let me be great with no holes in my face before I was getting paid. Fuck your minimum wage, my niggas want to raise poolside with a stake. Everything gonna be okay just as long as you behave. Yeah. Classy ladies and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how to make our Egypt gloss, which is this really gorgeous gold gloss. So we're going to start by melting the coconut oil. You can do this over the stove if your oil is not already melted. And while that's melting, I'm going to go ahead and prep the table. I use this plastic tablecloth that I got from the Dollar Tree. So this is everything I use. This is the lip gloss base. It's already infused with some vitamin E oil, the coconut oil before it's melted. And then when it's melted right here, I also use some almond oil, which you can get from Walmart, some castor oil I ordered off Amazon, this organic extra virgin olive oil I got that from walmart as well and then some flavoring oil from tkbtrading.com so i just have strawberry and vanilla i have some plastic gloves here my 150 milliliter syringe that i'm going to use to um, fill the pouch and then some pigments i'm just going to go ahead and use the gold pigment now i'm just going to take my lip gloss base and pour it into this smaller bowl. I've been doing this for a while, so I can just kind of eye the amount that I know I'm gonna need for an eight ounce bag. I'm gonna start by adding a drizzle of some castor oil, not too much. Next, I'm going to pour two spoonfuls of olive oil. Then I'm going to pour two spoonfuls of almond oil. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut oil. I used three spoonfuls of the coconut oil, and then later on you'll see me add more of each oil, not just the coconut oil. And now that all the oils are into the bowl, I'm just going to go ahead and mix the gloss base until I get the desired texture that I would like. And as you can see here, the gloss begins to thicken, which is too, too thick for lip gloss. You want it to be a little bit thinner. And I really want it just to be that consistency where it can just basically fall off the spoon. The gloss is still not the consistency that I would like, so I'm just going to go ahead and add more of each oil. And now we mix again. So the consistency has definitely changed. It's not as thick anymore, but it's still not what I desire. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour in some more coconut oil. Okay, so I slowed this part down because it's almost to the consistency. As you can see, it is falling off the spoon, but that's a little too thick. You want it to be a smooth slide. So I'm just going to mix it some more, and then I'm going to add in the flavoring oil, and then everything will be ready. Here you will see me sliding the bowl left and right to ensure that the gloss moves with the bowl. And that is definitely the consistency that we want. As you can see, it's just falling off the spoon, just like that. And that's what we want.
Next, you want to add in the pigment. I highly suggest using a spoon or it's going to get really messy with these type of bags. And now I'm just going to take the pigment and mix, mix, mix. And I don't know if it's just me, but this gloss definitely gives me an Egyptian vibe. All right, now we're approaching the home stretch. So I'm just going to get my eight ounce bag, my 150 milliliter syringe, and I'm just going to pop off the top. And instead, I know everyone uses spoon by spoon to fill the syringe. This is a very large syringe that will take forever. So here's a little tip that I like to do. I like to pick up the bowl and I just like to poured in there is so much faster it saves so much time and it's just so much easier that way so unfortunately the only way you can use this technique is if you use a styrofoam bowl i know a lot of people use different uh bowls like a glass bowl or anything like that but you would definitely need to use a styrofoam bowl for this technique now i'm going to take the syringe in the pouch and I'm going to insert the syringe into the pouch, ensuring that it is all the way in there. And then I'm just going to pop on the top part of the syringe. And once that top part of the syringe goes in, the gloss is going to start coming out. And to fill this pouch, you want to hold down the pouch against the syringe. If you don't, once the um, gloss is coming out the syringe, it will actually pop the bag off of the syringe. You don't want that because it'll get real messy. So our bag may look filled, but it's not. So I'm just gonna go in for a second go around and go ahead and pour the remainder of the gloss in there. Not all of it is going to come out. So you will see me use a spoon. I'm gonna show you guys a really good technique for this. So this is where things get a little bit complicated. I'm going to go ahead and hold the syringe against the table. I'm going to grab the bowl and the spoon and I'm going to slowly, slowly, move the gloss into the tube using the spoon and you have to do this very slow or else if you move too fast you're going to cause one thing after another and you don't it's just going to be a complete mess and you don't want that Now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps, put the syringe inside the pouch, go ahead and apply the top part of the syringe and just push it on through. So when your syringe isn't completely filled up, you will notice that sometimes air does tend to come out, especially inside the bag. So you just, when that does happen, you just want to take the syringe out, let the bag breathe and then insert the syringe again. And then every time just let the bag breathe and then insert the syringe again. And now our bag is completely filled. And almost our last step, we're just gonna go ahead and add the top and we're gonna twist, twist, twist until we can't anymore. We don't wanna twist it too much or that um, bottom rim right there will pop off and that is a no boy now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to keep it cute, keep it classy. She know it's money to make. I promise one of these days. We gon' come up with a way. Hey, yeah, I'm so amazed. They won't let me be great. With no holes in my face before I was getting paid.